Are you fed up with the high prices of construction materials? Are you flipping a property, remodeling your home, or doing a new build, and you are like freaked out because of how crazy expensive everything is? Well, if so, you've come to the right place because this is our conversation starting now. Well, hello, this is Gary Masseri, and this is Opportunities for Real Estate Investors. Yeah, I'm Ginger Faith from <laughs> REI Fortunes with Gary. Yeah, we love saving money, and we want to help you save money. So, tip number one, create a SOW, a scope of work. So, before you get started, pre-plan. That's strategy number one. So, for example, have a budget. Now, a budget can actually help you. So when you're talking to your contractors, you have something in mind and it helps them to strive for a particular number. So having a budget, having a specific idea is really important right up front. That's tip number one. Absolutely. You know, when you think about this, if you have a budget and let's say your budget for painting is $20,000 and all of a sudden you start getting bids in for 25, 30, 35,000 and you can say, folks, you know what? Um, I'm going to shop this a little more because I've, I've got a budget about 20,000 or 25,000 and you seem to be a lot higher than what my budget is and maybe other competitors or vendors in the area. And we'll go out and we'll find other vendors that, that will bid this. And we tell them that we need it to be under our budget. They come in to get the job. They put it in under budget. We have saved 10, $15,000 in some cases just on painting, electrical and plumbing, just for that reason. So. You know, here's another thing that, that Ginger can share with you is why do we, um, in our contracts, we write in rewards and penalties. So why do we do that, Ginger? Why do we make the contract where we can actually reward the subcontractor when they get it done on time? What, is, what difference does that make? Well, it helps for clarity and having a contract up yeah. in advance. So let the contractor tell you how much time it's going to take exactly. to do whatever it is, the plumbing, the framing, the roofing. Let them tell you, encourage them to give another 10% contingency and then hold them to it. And make sure they understand, you're telling me this number, you're responsible for that number. Yeah. And if you come in early, you get a bonus. And you can use the bonus, you can actually use your interest payment or the cost of money as a gauge of how much is this costing you for any overruns. Mm -hmm. And if you do this up front and you work with integrity with your contractors and you are firm about it, when they go over, they are responsible. When they come under and they still perform quality work that gets inspected properly, then they get a bonus. So it's a win-win. It's important that they set the schedule. Now they can't argue with you and tell you, hey, you know what, uh, this happened or that happened, because they'll always make excuses, right? Hey. It's your schedule and it's part of the plan. That's the difference on that, okay? Um, you know what's really cool too is uh, negotiating uh, your contracts. And Ginger has been talking to, oh my God, tons of um, subcontractors and contractors right now. As you know, we've got one property, we're gonna have permits probably by the end of May and then we're actually looking into buying another property that has permits on it today, as a matter of fact. So it's important that when you meet with your contractors that you really do a firm job of negotiating with it. It makes a big difference. Why don't you explain, Ginger, our technique of negotiating with our contractors? Well, it helps if you have some leverage. We have a pipeline. Mm -hmm. So if you have a pipeline, that really helps. So have some leverage and some reason for them to give you any discounts. But just explain to them that we're looking for people long term to be part exactly. of our teams. We're looking to build trusting relationships so we can keep you employed over and over and over again. Mm -hmm. And with that, what's the best price that you can give us for that? And, and then listen to what they say. And they also know that you're not trying to scalp them, but you're not trying to be scalped either. It's going to be a win-win or no deal. And you have other contractors that you're also interviewing. So if they know that and they know that you're a team player, um, but you want to be respected and you want mm -hmm. to respect them as well, and you have to keep a budget, they'll play ball. Yeah, actually, uh, Ginger is so right on the on target here. I just got off the phone with one of my uh, contractors this morning. I said, look, you know, we're going to keep you busy for the rest of the year, but you need to sharpen your pencil and, okay, and, get, the, and get those costs down for us. Now, I know material prices are going up. If you need help with materials, let's separate that from your bid, keep labor separate, and I'll help you shop materials 
and go to my vendors where I can get either military discounts or I can get volume purchases and then let you have control over buying the materials under our account. So there's a lot of ways that you can really uh, keep it, uh, those contract costs down, but you got to help your, you know, your suppliers, your vendors, and your subcontractors, you know, with maybe some volume material purchases as well. So that's one thing to keep in mind. Now, the thing that Ginger loves to do, and I don't know what ladies don't, but uh, tell them why uh, you like to shop so much because you're a hell of a shopper. I'm not a hell of a oh yeah, you are, man. She shops everything. Man. I'm, I'm, I, I'm a bargain hunter. I oh, like my high goodness. quality. I yeah. like high quality. I like low prices. Oh. What what girl doesn't, right? So, yeah. So tip number four: you go shopping and you shop intelligently. And mm. Louisa, Gary's wife, does a great job with that. She's fabulous. Oh yeah, well. between her and Ginger. So, oh my God. Yeah. So <laughs> what's if you see a beautiful chandelier that you know is going to work perfectly in the dining room? Why do you have to pay $60,000 for it? Can you find that same product somewhere else? And lately we've been on Amazon, believe it or not. We've got some really nice nice product oh that God. we've got. We've got some beautiful chandeliers mm -hmm. and, and lighting mm -hmm. for our newest development project. Really top-notch quality things in line with the farmhouse style, which is what is very current and fresh and what we're doing yep. for that very, very good prices. So shop around, use the internet. And the other thing is what we have is really valuable. We know other um, flippers, redevelopers, people that we are in our, our sphere, and we compare notes and we, we save money that way. Yeah, it's really true. And uh, what's great is you can give them the $60,000 look for 200 bucks. Right. Something like that. Yeah, that's my that's my goal. Yeah, that's give them the sixty thousand dollar look, but yeah. for two hundred bucks, you know. Yeah. Anyway. Well, my biggest thing was I I I, re I, uh, I redid a beautiful Airbnb. I put about sixty thousand dollars worth of furniture for eight thousand dollars. Well, that's right. I remember that. You remember right? that? You oh see my, my video God. on Airbnb. Thanks for shopping every weekend. Yeah. So, <laughs> here's another trick too that uh, Ginger can expound on a little bit for us. But, you know, when we first looked at our tile and we work with a tile designer. My God, that that tile came in. I mean, she was showing us twenty and thirty-five dollar per square per square foot cost on you know beautiful marble tile. I know it was gorgeous and everything, but that's just not going to work. I mean, that just budget was crazy. We got the budget down to about seven thousand dollars from fifteen thousand. How do we do that? Well, what we did, and uh, this is really great. Ginger and Louis and my wife worked together, and they went out and they selected the you know the marble for accents and use porcelain to really um, balance that. And I'm telling you, it's an example, and I'm told to do it, I'm telling you. But in the shower, we built this beautiful waterfall look with the beautiful marble tile. It flows right into the same on the floor, and that's how we save the money. And then we use por porcelain on the majority of the wall space on the shower, beautiful walk-in spa shower. So I want you to share experience that we had at Freeman's where we were able to get these incredible appliances. So yeah, we're, yeah. we're doing lux the luxury market. So we went to Freeman's, we want Viking, we want, uh, what was it? G, G monogram, monogram, right? Things like that. Wolf, but but yeah. sometimes it will, wolf ranges, um, but also home, this works at Home Depot. Is there a holiday coming up? Uh, you have Memorial Day weekend. I've got great deals in Home Depot with, with different promotions like that, holiday promotions. You can get free dishwashers, <laughs> you can get all sorts of freebies. Yeah. We can say, what can you get for free? And that's what, even though we paid quite a bit of money for our appliances because it's beautiful high-end stuff, we actually got a, a dishwasher free? for free and a microwave, microwave for free. Drawer, drawer. A microwave mm -hmm. drawer. So yeah, so we, we did we saved it like six grand, which was good. So look for promotions and ask them ask them, just say, hey what do you have to, <laughs> what do you have for me? What can you what can you do to uh, Help you save money here. What kind of deals you got? You know what, what's interesting about what Ginger is saying there. What's crazy because if you don't ask these people for deals, you don't get them. And you know what the deals? You can go in there and, and you know shop and buy all the appliances and write up an invoice and contract, walk out the door to come to find out that they got deals going on and you don't even know about it and you see them on TV. Yeah. So yeah, you got to ask for the deals, man. You know you, you got to ask for it if you want to get it right. Ask, so yeah, look online, yeah, see yeah, if they have any. Yeah. Hey, what about this deal I saw online, right? So, so, so tip seven is an interesting one. Uh, we belong to, you know, as builders and uh, brokers, we uh, we belong to all the pro, what we call the pro award accounts. Now, Home Depot has them, and 
Lord of Core has them and other people, your major vendors have what they call pro accounts. Now, what does that mean? Well, an example, the pro accounts means that they put it out for bid and uh, the prices come back because of the volume purchases that we do. We save 10 to 30%. And the other thing too is like at Florida Core, we can pick up their tiles samples for free. Mm -hmm. I mean, we'll take home four, five, six hundred dollars worth of tile samples, spread it all over the living room floor and Ginger and Louisville will go through and look at and put it all together and work with our designer. And it's really kind of cool. So keep that in mind, join the pro Pro accounts, get approved with them, and then uh, don't be afraid to go to the pro desk and ask them, hey, what can you do to knock these prices down? And you'll be surprised at the cost savings that you can get. These just simple little things that people don't know on that. So pro accounts are very, very, very important. Now I'm gonna do the second one because I'm the old veteran here, but um, I get 10% military discounts on all my accessories. So it all adds up. Uh, so take advantage of that military uh, discount if you, if you can, you know, if you so have get a veteran so friend, on your team. Yeah, get a veteran on your team, right? And yeah, there's always somebody around that's, that'll <laughs> do it for you, right? Okay, now, uh, tip nine was Ginger's idea, but uh, talk about how you can buy ahead and store in the pods. That's another cool idea you had. Well, you know what? My biggest motto I love, no surprises. <laughs> which is not easy in real estate, right? Yeah. Everything always surprises, right? So anything you can do to avoid surprises is great. And one of them is inflation is, is a little bit crazy and you don't know what oh the future God. is going for all sorts of materials. So mm -hmm. a pod is a nice idea, a storage unit you can put um, on your property uh, to store things securely, put a surveillance system. Uh, that's kind of an important thing right now. This, yeah. Because everything is so expensive, people are getting looted. So uh, make sure you have security around all of your product um, and that it's safe and stored well. Look at the things when you get them so that you make sure that they're not damaged or dinged or whatnot because by the time you use them in two months, depending on your timeline, you want to make sure everything looks good now and you're not going to have any problems refunding if you need to. Uh, you want to do that right away. You know what's really crazy is that you can take something like Simply Safe or the Ring system for security, where they have the cameras and everything. Geez, I think it's five, six hundred bucks. You can do the whole home. I mean, it's not costly mm -hmm. at all. But twenty five dollars a month. Yeah, and it's so worth it. You know, yeah, and they keep the recording of the videos, right? Cheap insurance. Have access. Well, the last thing we do, of course, I got in trouble with this because I gained a lot of weight doing this. So you got to be careful, right? Pizza and Burrito Friday, if our workers, and we just love this, if our workers show up on time, and I have, they have to show up on time, the end of the week on Friday, we call it Burrito Friday or Pizza Friday. And we'll go out, we'll buy them burritos, bring it back, and we'll buy it at their favorite taco truck. Now, they love that, and they really work hard to uh, make sure they're there on time and that they can have their uh, uh, Burrito Friday. Well, listen, I hope you, I hope you enjoyed the you know, the uh, what we're trying to help you to do to save costs. So, Ginger, how one they, more tip. One I, more tip. Yeah, we got one more Don't tip. Don't forget to use your low or no interest credit cards. Oh, yeah. Jeez, right, yeah, in right. buying things. And if you're using the credit cards quickly yeah. to turn them, uh, make sure you use the mileage to go on vacation yeah. after you're done and get a free vacation out of it. So, yeah, she's the vacation one. So, she loves it to get us on vacations, yeah. right? Okay, and then uh, how to get a hold of us. You know, again, our corporation is called REI. Uh, fortunes, reifortunes.com. If you go to the homepage, you'll find Ginger, you'll find myself. And we offer free Q&A sessions. You know, okay, and, and the reason we do that is to build our following and our membership up. You can subscribe to our uh, YouTube channel for the, where these videos are being posted. On the website, we have our blogs. This is a blog that we make. And also, you know, our podcast, which you can download your Apple podcast. And again, opportunities for real estate investors. So we're easy to find. You can make an appointment with us on our website and we'll be glad to spend, you know, 15, 20 minutes with you, whether you're remodeling your home or looking to build a home or looking to invest money, uh, you know, we can do a lot of things for you to help you again, free. And we do that to build our subscribers list. So with that being said, do you want any last thoughts there, Ginger? Yeah. If you'd like a free report of some vend uh, vendor list, then oh, yeah. let us know. You can get yeah. to a vendor list. Just uh, right. send us, shoot us an email or a text. Yeah. We'll get that over to you. Okay, it's easy. So. Gary at reifortunes.com or ginger at reifortunes.com. So anyway, we'll see you next so week. Next week. Yeah. Bye.